uh, but it's been exactly a year uh, since the Expo grind and previous to that year, as many of you know, uh, I was an employee of Slingshot. So I worked with Slingshot in super training uh, and I did the Expo five years running, probably about five years running every single Expo, basically in Northern California, or excuse me, Northern America, uh, at least in the US, uh, which was a grind, it was a hustle. Uh, I wouldn't know if I'd say I'd take a lead on those because I didn't do a lot of the preparatory work, but game days I kind of took lead and I was the first one in to set up. I was the first one in the booth to open it every morning, which at certain events it's like seven in the morning plus a time change. So seven in the morning plus a time change heading east. That's a three hour difference. I'm at the booth four o'clock my time uh, and then I'm clean up and head home. So we'll see what the experience is like today. Uh, I didn't have to set up. I went and said, said what's up when they were setting up. Show me around the booth. You took a year off the booth and now you're in charge of everything. And now you got another booth. Yeah, so we weren't here last year. Um, but we're here this year. But la the year before that, we only had about two of these booth spaces. And we thought, like, we were already the shit. We're like, you yeah, coming up in life. And then it was just table. And then behind the table, we just had our apparel. And then we had the deadlift comp. But then this year, we wanted to make an experience. We wanted you guys to feel the, the vibe that you would feel, like, at our gym. But a uh, different vibe, different year. New year, new me. <laughs> Uh, I appreciated all my time at Slingshot. I know you guys still comment what's going on, but just, uh, I guess, uh, cut back in or, or, or refer to it. Like, I was an employee there, and I no longer work there. I work for myself, so no hard feelings anywhere. Uh, it was an amazing time. Mark gave me a lot of stuff, a lot of blessings, taught me a lot. But I uh, basically uh, just want to work for myself, adventure new things, do what I want to do. Uh, and so that's the route it takes. How many of you uh, have been in employment the same place for over five years. Uh, working for a place for five years, uh, I, I feel like it's pretty uh, the norm. So just on to different things. Been here for about half an hour, maybe an hour. Pretty fucking wild. Listen to a lot of Joe Rogan lately. Uh, I like just his mindset in life. And he talks about comedy being one of the unique things where he'll kind of get direct feedback on his product or on his craft or on his content so he can adjust either on the fly or for sure for the next show. We do YouTube or even Instagram or podcasts. We don't know, we make a final product, we chuck it out there, we try to get a good thumbnail and a, a title, but we don't know if people are gonna watch or get feedback and being off. I get feedback from that and then try to adjust down the road, but that's like a, a one month feedback rather than Rogan's getting that direct feedback. So it's a little different. I can't really uh, adjust on the fly. So taking a year off Expos is kind of hard to sell. Like if the feedback's happening, if it's reaching real people, because all you see is a counter on YouTube or a counter, a number, and like to put faces to some of that's dope. So first half an hour, I say the YouTube popping, bro. Uh, Barbara Brigade booth's going wild. They're doing some deadlift competition. I think we're gonna chill for a bit. Then we're gonna make our round, say what up to all the homies at the other booths. Uh, slingshots around the corner, barber brigade, or uh, make squats around the corner. We'll just go say what's up to people. And now I got to come back here. We're gonna help people deadlift, but uh, it's cool to see. It's cool to see the content reaching real people rather than just the counter. So, although these days are tiring, although they long, although they're not always my favorite thing, it's always cool to meet all of you guys. So appreciate appreciate the love, and uh, we got a long day ahead of us. <laughs> You know, day one, the difference. One, I'm not technically working like we kind of talked about. And then two, I don't have anything to sell, pitch, whatever. Like, working for Slingshot was a blessing. I helped build the company. The company helped build me and taught me a lot. But I was always constantly in a marketing and business mindset where now, maybe I'm even in more in a content creative entertainment mindset where I get to worry just about my content. I get to worry about meeting uh, you guys that watch this, meeting the people that I've coached, meeting the people that do Kaizen, the, meeting the people that support Barber Brigade and Reebok and my other sponsors. 
uh, it's a it's switching hats in a way where not that I didn't have fun but I had always focused on marketing and business always that was my job it was a job and now I'm not working uh, so I guess I'm a guest or I'm a content creator or an influencer I'm a sponsored athlete or whatever it might be just has to switch my mindset um, both are very fun both are very high energy both I think fit my personality well but overall, energy is a lot better. It's late at night right now, and typically the vlog probably wouldn't even make it this long because I'd be so damn tired. I'd be eating a steak and then going to bed and waking up at six in the morning to do it again. So, uh, energy is good. It's rough because we have a week ahead. So, be sure to subscribe, like this shit because we got some shit coming. Turn on the notifications because uh, we're going to be here for a week chilling uh, with Bart, Gio, and the crew. Uh, and then I got a Barber Brigade retreat we're going on. Uh, we're going out to the mountains or the desert. I'm going to film some of that too. Uh, so it's just different, it's different. My energy's high, which feels good. My feet are tired. Uh, and again, taking a year off, it was just cool to see some of the old homies, you know, like, just to just, uh, shoot the shit with Meg Squats, say what's up to Bucci, uh, say what's up to Bradley Martin, some of the cats that I used to see almost every month or every eight weeks at different expos. I haven't seen some of them in a year, so uh, that was cool. It's cool to be back in the mix. Uh, I was always on the, you know, grind, hustle, murder, kill, of uh, making content and being in fitness and coaching people, uh, but this is, this is more face to face, it's more in person. You feel more of the industry, you feel more of your work and your effort when you're here. You, you're, so much of marketing business is online now. So to have any part of it be in person, um, give some satisfaction that whatever I'm doing is hopefully in the right direction and the support of you guys is immense. Uh, so I appreciate it. I think we're going to dinner. I'm starving. Even though that, that was the best Fit Expo meal I've ever had. It was a random chicken sandwich. That was the best Fit Expo meal. Shout out to my chicken sandwich guy.